going on guys? This is Sal from The Game Experts. Welcome to another episode of Game Experts TV. On today's episode, we thought we'd showcase a very important part of our store. Uh, if you look on the later videos, we talked about the GameCube Chaos that we also have in store, but it's the 64's turn today. Uh, so we've got a awesome, genuine Nintendo 64 retail kiosk. This came out of a store in Melbourne. Uh, it was Video Games Heaven. They've actually closed down now, but we're a very popular store for all the new tech and games back, uh, back in the day. So this came out actually out of their, um, I think it was their Ringwood store or somewhere around there anyway, but it was one of their kiosks in the store. So very happy to have her. It came in so much worse condition. Like there were so many parts missing on this kiosk prior to it uh, being restored and in the amazing condition it is in today. Um, so yeah, the, the, um, a few things were, one of the control arms was missing. The decals were not on here, you know, so they all had to be redone, and, you know, made to the caliber of uh, being able to display that you know, how it was back then and sort of give you all those childhood memories running back when you just instantly look at it. Uh, so a lot of TLC went into this. Um, it does even still have the genuine um, remote for the CRT TV, which is like really hard to come by, but we're very happy to have this. So the 64 Chaos uh, comes with a standard 64 console in there. Well, it's supposed to come with a, uh, I think it's an NTSC console, but the one we have in here is PAL. It's also supposed to come with some not for resale cartridges, but the seller was pretty reluctant to sell those because they're worth like so much, so which is fair enough. Uh, so we've got just a standard 64 console in here, an OzPal one that plays all of the OzPal cartridges. Uh, funnily enough, one really cool thing I realized about this console is that it's hard to show you, but the connectors on the controller, it's not just a wire and it turns into a connector for the 64. It's actually got a connector in the middle, similar to the original Xbox controllers. And trust me, it doesn't sound like much, but remaking this um, uh, controller brace, that just made everything so much harder. But really happy to have it all well and done. Our welder mini, you've done an excellent job. Uh, really, really nice looking. So uh, you've got the CRT too, which is an awesome light box there, which is working from the start, which we're really happy with. Uh, they can be really challenging to change and stuff like that. Uh, we've got just a standard Mitsubishi CRT TV, uh, nothing too dramatic. Uh, you can probably see the static in the CRT TV because, yeah, it's a CRT TV. But um, then you've got the dome, which is 64 sits inside. We've currently got Pokemon Stadium playing on it, so you can see the awesome little Pokemon Stadium card in there. And then we've got the awesome little decal on the bottom there of, um, you know, it's got the N64 logo and then. Um, in writing and you've got the actual N64 logo there. So that when that came in, it was all just blank, so no artwork whatsoever. Um, so we all had to get our uh, designer, Monty, to make all this sort of stuff from scratch, which took so much work, uh, but he managed to get it done really, really nicely. He had to do it a few times, because actually this sort of break, this sort of backing is really challenging to put on, so, but in the end, he done a really good job, so. Um, that's why it looks so amazing right now. But um, on the side here, there was there's some 64 um, vinyl sort of uh, design that was actually non-existent, it was not there. On one side actually it was peeling off, so really, really ugly looking. Um, so we managed to restore that as well. That design of Monty done that really, really nice and it looks like perfect, as good as new. Um, but yeah. That's our N64 Chaos. You're more than welcome to come down to the store and have a play with it. Uh, we tend to change games, change games on it every month. So this month we've got Pokemon Stadium and then we put stuff like Mario Kart, Gold Miner, etc. So you're more than welcome to come down to us at 944 High Street in Reservoir. Come down and have a play. Check out this awesome nostalgic piece of the 90s. Uh, really, really cool um, Chaos. They don't make them like they used to, unfortunately. The, uh, the golden age of Chaos is, yeah gone but thankfully we've got uh, a piece of history sitting right here for you guys to come in and have a look at uh, but yeah thanks again for watching another video guys really hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe to our channel uh, share our content with your friends um, you know there's some awesome videos on our channel I think we've got a really good video um, you know coming up or is already on there you know, this time we've posted about some Pokemon stuff we unboxed some awesome Pokemon stuff so check that one out as well 
And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching another video, guys. We'll see you in the next one.